What is up guys? Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, what Luke Rockhold said in his most recent UFC 278 press conference. Absolutely went off on fighter pay and in specific uh, Dana White and how he's run the UFC. Uh, really was some interesting and uh, entertaining comments and sound bites for sure. So let's go ahead and get into what he said and uh, and what the and what is behind why he said what he said. Uh, it, uh, basically, just went in and was uh, bringing up in specific the fighter bonus, how the fighter bonus has been on fifty thousand dollars for you know ten to twenty years at this point, even though the UFC has grown from a company only worth you know tens of millions of dollars to now worth over you know four five billion dollars and uh, went in to say that you know 10 or 12 years ago when uh, GSP fought Matt Hughes they were getting a hundred thousand dollar bonuses and now they're still getting fifty thousand dollar bonuses even though the sport has grown just exponentially since that point in time which is a very 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 fair point that he made also was talking about how since the UFC are technically UFC fighters are technically private contractors they're not eligible for year-round health care and really only get treated for uh, you know their injuries if it happens during the fight in the UFC octagon not f injuries that happen during training camp which really is a problem and really is uh, not right because fighters you know have to put their bodies hard in the gym to even be in a position to have a chance to be competitive in the cage so how can you uh, how can you train at the level you need to train at to uh, be competitive inside the cage if you're worried about getting an injury or hurting yourself and then the UFC not covering it as we know uh, UFC salary and fighter pay is not great as it is you know most guys are getting uh, you know six uh less than a hundred thousand dollars per fight you know so and then if you have a serious injury uh that cost you know medical bills cost thousands and thousands of dollars you know you still gotta pay your coaches you gotta pay your uh you know pay for your place to live you gotta pay for all your food and you know if you're trying to be a high level athlete you have to invest heavily in your diet and nutrition costs a lot of money so at the end of the day you know these guys aren't really making a ton of money and uh you know luke went at dana and just went at dana for holding the growth of the sport back and holding uh the the potential for these fighters to really improve their lives by you know keeping these bonuses at fifty thousand dollars and uh you know not improving these bonuses and giving these fighters uh, even more incentive to go out and do well as well as not giving them uh year-round health care so you know say what you want about uh, Luke Rockhold or what you think about what he's done in the past or his actions but I think uh, you know he had some great points uh, in his press conference and uh, you know let me know what you guys think about what he said and uh, are you guys glad that uh, he's going after Dana and that uh, it's about time some of these fighters you know started going after Dana instead of just being yes men for the UFC because you know they're too scared to go against Dana because when you go against Dana you get blackballed and, uh, you know, that's kind of the end of the career, you know. These fighters don't have the ability to, or they haven't formed, been able to form a union to really go against, you know, the boss. So um, let me know what you guys think about what Luke said and uh, if you guys agree. And uh, let's have a discussion about it in the comments. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys next video.